She doesn't want to go away into that cold winter night. Hey, y'all, gravity, any day above ground, live it. So you already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's right, share, like, and subscribe because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. Stacey Abrams just won't leave and go sit down and come back in 2023. Oh, no. You take a humiliating... Sorry. You take a humiliating loss in the Governor Georgia race. And instead of saying, you know what, let me go sit down. Especially with this story coming out that I'm a million dollars in the hold of vendors. And New Georgia Project on the firing line to get indicted and get their tax records opened up like Trump's. You would think Stacey would sit down and say, you know what, let me reassess my life. Come back in 2023. Nah, she don't want to do that. She's got a book to shill. And not only does she have a book to shill, she has to go and shill it with Miss Angie Thomas, who is mainly going to be the subject of this video. Now, for those who don't know who Angie Thomas is, Angie Thomas is the author of several books, including The Hate You Give, which we know was written in 2017, became a movie in 2018. Now, admittedly, I did not watch that movie because, again, at that time period, we were in the thralls of protests and black folks getting gunned down by the police seemed like every other week. OK, I'm exaggerating. It seemed like every other day a new story was coming out. So she wrote that book. It became a movie. People seem to love it. Um, OK, I'll defer to them. On this. But I bring her up because this just proves how hypocritical Stacy is, even though she'd lie to our faces. But of course, us here in intelligent black society, we said, nah, let's look down your line and see if what you're saying is true. And we found out it wasn't. She was every bit as much as one of these black, white liberals as we thought she was. But Miss Angie Thomas is a proponent of defunding the police and abolishing prisons. Well, her exact words were, we need to abolish the police and abolish prisons. Uh-huh. Right. In a perfect world, ma'am, I would agree with you if black folks all around the country and all around the world had the means to protect themselves, i.e. every black family had a gun or several guns and we had neighborhood watches. So, even if our agitators of peace got through the neighborhood watch, each black family could be able to protect themselves. Unfortunately, we do not live in that type of society. So your proclamation already puts us against the eight ball. What do I mean? Well, let's see. You abolish the police. Now, I'm not advocating for the police in this video. Not doing it. I'm merely going to make a point. You abolish the police. Uh, let's see. So all these cops that kill black folks, who prosecutes them? Who, who, well, not even, we're not even gonna get to the prosecution part. Who arrests them? We have irrefutable proof they did it. Who's going to investigate? Who's gonna put them underneath the jail? to start the process of getting them into prison. Who, who, who's going to do that since you want to abolish the police? So you want to see crime skyrocket even more than it is now. Because you're one of these people that say, oh, we should take the money away from them and allocate resources into the communities. Great. Guess what? You're better off saying give people back that money and let them do with it what they want. As long as it's for protection of themselves and their community, you're better off saying that. You saying allocating resources back to the community. Anybody can do anything with that money who controls it. And it's not going to be for the betterment of black people. We already know this. But OK, so your first part of your proclamation, no good. Number two, you said abolish prisons. OK, ma'am. Great. You're probably thinking in the space of we can let all our 
wrongly incarcerated black brothers and sisters out. That's great. Unfortunately, that's a double-edged sword. Because as great and as positive as that statement is when it comes to black folks, unfortunately, your proclamation as well will do several bad things that will not be advantageous to the black community. Number one, you abolish prisons. Let's just say in your damned dystopia, we get rid of prisons. Okay. You do realize that all these cops, ex-cops that sat in them jails right now, like Derek Chauvin, Amber Geiger, that Geronimo dude down in Oklahoma who was touching on them black women and did essay on them black women, you do realize they'll get out, right? Once your plan goes through, whoever's in power signs that bill, they get to come home. So you have people that have killed black folks coming home because that that would just be great you know see Derek Chauvin walk in the streets again that that would just be great Amber Geiger who lied and lied and lied and lied about what she did that night when she killed Botham John yeah we we want to see her walking around right the Aaron Dean who just killed who just got convicted of killing Atiana Atatiana Jefferson. Yeah, he got convicted, but he ain't he ain't gonna do any significant time by your plan. So you basically defeated your own purpose. Unless your purpose was to cause more anarchy, then you know your plan works. I can't stand people like this because they just say things and they never think it through. This is why I've always said our people need to stop thinking six days and six weeks ahead when everybody else is thinking six months, six years ahead. This here, this is not it. And the fact you and Stacy are now tag team on this book yeah this book ain't gonna hit my house no matter how good it is this book could get the nobel peace prize you ain't gonna see it in my house just based off the fact of who's involved in this stacy don't care about the kids she doesn't care about a child's future she's already displayed that with grown adults she doesn't care about our future unless it enriches her and miss angie thomas your proclamations out here are not going to help our children's future either so yeah you you could take that with you that's all i gotta say on this let me get up out of here. You already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's right. Share, like, and subscribe because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. Take care. Stay safe. I'm out.